Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create gradient filled text in Illustrator. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. Now this might seem like a strange topic for a video tutorial because you would think that you could just select the text and just select a gradient fill. It doesn't work that way. If you try and select a gradient fill, it doesn't fill the text. So there is some validity in this video tutorial, I promise you, and I'm going to show you how you can do what it appears you cannot do in Illustrator and how you can do it very simply. To get started, I'm just going to create a brand new document. So I'm just going to choose File New. I'm just creating a 1000 by 1000 point document. Yours can be any size you like. All we're looking for is a text object to work with. I'm pressing Control 0 to square up the artboard in the middle of the screen and I'm just going to type some text. I'm typing gradient filled text. But you can type whatever you like. I'm selecting the type and now I'm going to click in the font size here and shift up arrow to increase the size of the font because I want a fairly good size font. Let's just move that into the middle of the document and I'm just going to center the text and also center it in the artboard. And let's go and choose a font for our text. This is a fairly good font. It's a fairly thick enough font for us to see the effect that we're looking for. I'm going to click to select the type here. I have the select tool enabled and here is my fill color and at the moment it's black. Now I can click on any color to fill the text with that color. That's exactly as you would expect it to behave. I can also remove the fill from the text. But you know what happens when I click to add a gradient to it? Nothing. There is no gradient applied to this text and if I were to go and get my own gradient, for example I have some color combinations available here, none of these are appearing inside the text even though they're in this fill box. It just does not work. Now the way to make it work is to go to the appearance panel. I have my appearance panel visible here. If yours is not visible, choose window and then select appearance so that you're making the appearance panel visible. And then what you want to do is make sure that you've got your type selected and go here and click Add New Fill. And we're going to add a new fill and that fill is going to be one of our gradients. Now I've just got a red, purple and blue gradient here. And when I select that, you'll see that now the text is filled with the gradient. And any gradient that I select is going to work exactly the same way. You have to add a fill to the text using the appearance panel for this to work. And we can go and get the gradient tool and drag over to create the gradient in whatever way we want. So at the moment I've got a linear gradient selected but I can make it a radial gradient. And then I can adjust the radial gradient to be as big or as small as I want to make it centered wherever I want. So all the standard gradient things are going to work with this text except that when you type it and just try and select a gradient as the fill color, it doesn't work. You have to add it through the appearance panel and then it does work. Now one further tip while we're working with the text here is if I select a stroke value here, I'm going to select a blue stroke and increase the stroke width. Well, let's just go and get the text first and do that and let's just increase the stroke width. When I do that, you can see that the stroke is wiping out the text. It's going over the text. Well, I can save it from doing that by just dragging the stroke below the fill in the appearance panel and then the stroke goes behind the text and we're still seeing that full gradient text. The additional stroke is not wiping out the gradient filled text. So there you have the technique for applying a gradient fill to a piece of text and also how to make sure that your strokes don't get so big that they wipe out your text. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. 
and visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.